All right, so the girl that got passed around by the whole entire like police department, like getting trained on, like trained, like taking turns on her. Yeah, she is back. All right, so we're gonna check what she been up to lately and to see how the situation been going since she got exposed and she went viral everywhere from for hooking up with every you know police officer in that department, whatever. So yeah, let's check it out. Allegedly. So Megan yeah. Hall is back and it's not for a good reason. In fact, it will probably make you lose faith in the justice system going forward. So if you oh don't know God. who this is, this is a woman police officer that recently went viral exactly one year ago, actually, when she slept with her fellow police co-workers. In fact, she slept with the entire police department, like Crazy. five to seven people, and she did it multiple times. And she did all of this while having a husband. So in essence, she's a giant <laughs> cheater and a degenerate freak who is definitely not fit to be a police officer. Bro, I thought this was Luca for a second. I'm like, wait a minute, since when Luca with the police? <laughs> officer or protecting our streets now what happened after this is that she was going to be fired for sexual misconduct but she and her lawyer cooked up something absolutely nobody could ever imagine Ooh. she shifted the story to her being harassed and pressured into sleeping with six people multiple times yes apparently she said she was being groomed at the age of 26 i remember while interviewing for the let's be honest who the, who is groomed like yeah really position at laverne police department they 26 i remember while interviewing for the position at laverne police department they described the environment as a family however while i was aspiring to protect my community the laverne police department was not protecting me by now, most of the country knows right. what happened. Paul, <laughs> four other officers, and the police chief were fired last month. This after two separate investigations found that Hall engaged... See, now I have a problem with this. So, all those police officers got fired, right? But God forbid, God forbid, a police shot someone or do something extremely terrible, right? And they get to keep their job. They go on paid leave. They go on this and that. But you have sex with a co-worker, you get fired immediately. Yeah, that doesn't add up whatsoever. In not saying one is better than the other but one yeah you feel me it's kind of like backwards activity and or shared intimate photos and videos with several male officers the chief and two sergeants were among those implicated now hall and her attorney wesley clark are suing those three supervisors and the city in federal court for civil rights violations megan wasn't looked at like a rookie cop to be trained and promoted she was looked at as a piece of meat to be sexual. Bro, I call that bullshit, bro. You got exposed, you feel this and that. No, you don't have a job, so now you're just looking for a payout. That's just literally what it is. Like, what? What do you mean a piece of meat? Bro, she's literally the end of the fucking bread loaf. She's a slice that goes in the trash, like no one wants. She's a slice that everyone skips. Like, what? Groom? What? It, who? Wait, what? Caused and exploited. I received harassing and threatening messages on my phone daily. I felt like I had been terrorized. Okay, so she framed it as this whole victim narrative right. as we saw before. Now, as I said, nobody was actually buying this. Here's some of the comments on the old video. Megan Hall, I'm the victim. Everybody shut up, Meg. This one was <laughs> hilarious. Officer shot multiple times in the face, mouth, chest, and upper thighs, but still stood up and served the community. What a legend. She no, that's a legendary comment. It took me a while. I'm like, officer shot multiple times. I'm like, God damn. But then I realized, I'm like, oh, I see. I'm a bit slow sometimes. Yes. <laughs> Paul knows there are those who will say she was a consenting adult who willingly participated in sexual antics in violation of police department policy and that now she wants to blame others, including one sergeant who targeted her early on. I know what most people are saying. Mm -hmm. You, know, you could have said no. I get it. Paul now realizes her career in law enforcement is likely over, and she knows those ugly memes on social media will remain forever. Facts. Her reputation sullied. No woman should ever have to endure this type of abuse. She is married and says she has a strong family support system and says that it was her faith 
that helped carry her through the turmoil. Indeed, it was her faith that got her to sleep with six other people and cheat on her husband repeatedly and repeatedly. Crazy. By the way, this guy completely forgave the whole thing. It seems like it's an Adam-22 situation with this dude cucked, and he simply just, mm -hmm. I don't know, Fucked. either enjoys it or doesn't have the balls to leave or thinks that God can somehow save her. Here's some advice, buddy. She is beyond saving, God damn it. Now, after all this, here's the absolute kicker. She to be honest, he probably does enjoy that shit low key though. To be honest, he look like the type to be like they look like the type of kinky couple to have like you feel me like a black dude come in and like the slang and he just what he like he does seem like a type bro. He seemed like one of those like she actually is winning the case and now is gonna be paid Wait. five hundred Here's some advice, buddy. She is beyond saving. God damn it. Now, after all this, here's the absolute kicker. She actually is winning the case and now is going to be paid $500,000 because she claimed that she was somehow groomed at the age of 26 here. And people think that she was doing all this under duress or something. And basically, because she got memed into oblivion by the internet. See, you mean to tell me, right? <clears throat> Here in America, you can cheat on your husband with your co-workers, right? Get caught, get blasted on the internet, then immediately turns around, play victim, file a lawsuit, win in the lawsuit for half a million dollars. So you get half a million dollars to cheat on your husband, to have sex while, while you know, it's, it's not legal. You know, you're a police officer. Like, you can't be doing that. It's like, bro, what? How? Internet. She has claimed damages like, oh, I can never find a job. Oh, I was I was going to work as a police officer and make a lot of money. But now I can't because uh, because of who the fuck who? Yeah, your yeah, damages. Yeah, the only thing that damages their fucking vagina after having like seven fucking BBC. Like, what the fuck? Like, what? <laughs> the scandal. And somehow they're paying her half a million dollars. She literally cheated on her husband with six other dudes consensually and is getting paid for it. Absolutely Crazy. absurd. Megan Hall, the only female. Not just that, but that 500,000, that half a million is literally coming out of the taxpayer's dollar. The people who live in that county, they paying for it. <laughs> officer like, fired what? in connection to Laverne Police Department scandal reaches a settlement with the city. She will receive $500,000 because she dismissed a lawsuit against the city. Hall and four other officers were fired in January of last year Damn. after an investigation showed she and other male officers had sex on the job and lied about it. But the lawsuit. I just realized, so wait a minute. So, okay, so she's the one, okay, she has sex with officers, right? They all got fired. She included, right? So they have no job. They got no money, no nothing. They also got being, you know what I'm saying? Getting attacked online. I'm sure of it. And you mean to tell me they don't have not one penny? They don't have nothing? They don't get anything out of it? Bro, I'm telling you, bro. Like, America is like, <laughs> like people, like, the system don't make no sense, bro. Sue claimed that she was a victim of... Bro, I always say, bro, like, if you're a female, bro, you got that shit good. You got that shit good. I don't always keep saying that shit, bro. You, females gonna always got the benefit of the doubt. Harassment and that she was groomed. Since the investigation made national headlines, her attorney said she was publicly ridiculed, which made it difficult for her to find a job. The city did not admit any liability, and Hall settlement money will not come from taxpayer dollars. We are oh, okay, told the good. city's insurance... Good, good, because I'm about to, I was about to say, like, hell no. <laughs> it's provider. I'm like, I got to pay for what? That shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, what? That shit don't benefit the community. That ain't don't do nothing. Like, what? Pay that 500 grand. Okay, so if that five. We are told the city's insurance provider will pay that 500 grand. Okay, so if that 500K genuinely came from taxpayer dollars, I think there would genuinely be like some sort of a riot or something. Because imagine you're paying tax, right? You're paying your hard-earned money. You're going to a job every single day. And then there's a government's taking some portion of your money. And you, you think, that okay, is. it's going to the police department to fund my safety. Oh, it's going to build roads and, you know, clean up uh, the society, giving me Medicare or something like that and actually it's going to fund a hose lifestyle over here <laughs> literally just sleeping with the entire police team oh over my here God. and you are paying for it i would literally come hit die okay that's crazy Facts. now people are still not happy and this is going viral absolutely everywhere because it is just injustice it is absolutely crazy here we are on twitter the land of the free of course and we got a tweet here new former tennessee police officer who went wild with six officers on the job has settled her lawsuit for 500k she says she was
improperly groomed by male police officers and sued the city of Laverne. And she did a lot of uh, degenerate stuff. Here is the infamous video of her on the bull. Gotta play this. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Hey, she definitely be riding on the job. I'm telling you, <laughs> she definitely be riding on the job. Oh boy, that is crazy, man. That is absolutely crazy. <laughs> she do be riding, and she is an absolute professional. Can we just take a look at all these guys? It's not even the same type. It seems like anyone can get it, bro. These are these are like different ends of the spectrum over crazy. here. My God, absolutely <laughs> nutty. Here's some crazy. of the reply. Ho acts like a ho. Ho gets caught for being said ho. Ho is then exposed for set being said ho. Ho claims to be a victim. Ho gets half a mil. Amazing. <laughs> Those are stepping their game up. All <laughs> Facts. Almost $85,000 per dude. Why are the American taxpayers constantly paying for criminals and corruption? Did Megan Hall ever provide any proof of any of her allegations? Of course not. There doesn't need to be proof anymore. Just allegations and you get a settlement. Welcome to law. And let's have a vagina, bro. Just have a vagina. I'm telling you, females are going to always get the benefit of the doubt, bro. I'm telling you, <laughs> just have a vagina, bro. And just have like a little teary eye and you're good fair in america people and that's the worst part about this there is absolutely no, no proof of any of this in fact the only proof there is and like a video evidence and all of that is of her doing these acts with these people okay and you know sending videos of her jacking off to the, these officers and shit it is absolutely ridiculous Crazy. <laughs> She knew exactly what she was doing <laughs> absolutely no one at tennessee cops all aboard <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna die, bro. That's crazy. National Geographic determined what Americans will look like in 2050, and it's beautiful. Ah, and all of them are <laughs> apparently her because she is just, uh, I don't know, she's produced the entire population over here, just, uh, slept with uh, the entire male population. And honestly, I don't know, man. If you're if you're one of these girls and you want to you wanna get a quick buck, I don't think OnlyFans is the number one move anymore. I think you should pull uh, Megan yes. Hall. That's that's what I'm going to nickname it now. Pulling a Megan Hall and just, uh, I don't know, uh, bang the, all the police officers, you get a shit ton of money. Now, obviously, people are pointing out the double standards here. A grown woman gets a train run on her by six men and gets 500k now. Women leave on, live on easy mode with cheats. Thank now, you. listen, is Megan Hall representative? Representative of the average woman who's probably, I don't know, just normal, hardworking, whatever. Probably not. Okay. This is definitely someone who is a fringe case of getting off on a lot of stuff. But I will say, in terms of the justice system, people are flipping blind. I don't know what's wrong with these judges. I don't know why they can't see that this was clearly completely consensual and nothing to do with duress or anything, especially when it's Ex been done on multiple, on, multiple occasions all the time. It's crazy. Megan Train Hall, if you're reading this, you should donate that money to real victims of SA. Yes, that's exactly what Megan All is going to do. She's definitely just not going to run with the flipping 500k. Just leave it on the nightstand. Uh, She's shocked yeah, that she, she was is. publicly ridiculed for repeatedly having adulterous relationships with multiple co-workers while on the taxpayer dime. Ridiculous. And I think that sums up the situation. Laura gets half of it groomed my ass. By the way, she <laughs> had a banger lawyer, I just got to say. The way she framed that and turned the situation upside down, that is impressive. According to an internal Facts. investigation, Hull hooked up with several Several colleagues sent them nude pictures and went topless in a Girls Gone Wild themed hot tub party and even performed oral on two cops while on duty. Yes, this seems like total so much pressure Damn. in a one-time situation. Totally. Definitely not her just enjoying having um, six other men to sleep with on a regular basis and, you know, some weird power kink going on or whatever. She also <laughs> allegedly had a threesome with one of the cops and his wife? Dude, what is this police department, I'm, dog? I'm, you know that meme like, this is my lawyer. Bro, bro. The older I get, they realize how freaky adults is, bro. The amount of swingers and shit that's out here, the amount of people that's flipping and doing this and that, bro, it's, it's wild out here, bro. Your dog. This is this is your police officer right now. These are the people that are apparently protecting your country. The ex top cop also joked about a 13 minute video that allegedly showed Hall uh, jacking off, which was shared among some of the male cops inside the department. Damn. She seems very happy about that. <laughs> Just absolutely uh, jubilant. Anyways, to be honest, the only thing that that can probably save her right now is probably just make a OF. You might as well, bro. You already got the clout. Your national news, you might as well take advantage of it and make an OF. Look at the teacher that got that got caught, that got fired for having an OF. Look at her now. A millionaire. Alpha OnlyFans. Yeah, because she promoted the shit out of it. Even in her bio, she was like, 
the girl that was on national news that got exposed, the teacher, whatever, bro, like she make it bands, bro. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think this is justice? Do you think this is Hell actually no. fair? Because uh, I don't. I don't think. I think this is bullshit. That's it. Bye bye. That's it for this reaction. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, like, comment, subscribe, and see you for the next one.